Urine is what's left over after your kidneys have finished cleaning your blood. Urine builds up in the bladder. Urine is not good for your kidneys if it moves back up from your bladder. That's why you have to keep emptying your bladder. Four to six times a day is appropriate. When you're emptying your bladder, never hurry. You don't want to leave any urine behind because that could lead to an infection. This film shows you how to empty your bladder. It's quite easy once you know how. Always start by washing your hands with soap and water. Don't forget your thumbs. Make sure you have everything you need before getting started. You will need a catheter that's the right size. You will also need some mild soap, some cotton wool pads, and perhaps a mirror which can be fastened onto your thigh. Pull your pants down so you can get to your urethra easily. If it's easier for you, there's a special device you can use to keep your legs apart. If you can, always try to go to the toilet before using your catheter. To prepare the catheter, start by removing the protective packaging from the catheter. First, hold the catheter near the lowest notch with one hand. Then break the packaging by twisting the top part away from the bottom part. Keep the catheter upright and pull the two pieces apart until you hear a click. Rock the upper part back and forth to free the catheter. Empty the water from the lower tube and save it for when you want to get rid of the catheter. Stand the catheter on its handle on a flat surface so you can get to it easily. Take care not to let your skin or clothing touch the oily part. To stop bacteria from getting into your urethra and bladder when you use the catheter, start by cleaning the area around the urethra thoroughly but gently. Attach a mirror to the inside of your thigh if you need to. Spread your labia apart and with a cotton wool pad, wash around the opening to your urethra. Wash from front to back so you don't spread bacteria that could cause an infection. Use each cotton wool pad only once. From this point on, keep your labia apart. Don't let the catheter touch anything before pushing it into your urethra. If it touches the sink or your clothes or skin, it could get dirty and cause an infection. If the catheter does touch something, you must take a new one and start again. Relax as much as you can to make inserting the catheter easier. Slowly push the catheter into your urethra, just as you've been shown to do. If you don't hit the opening to the urethra the first time, you must start again with a new catheter. Push the catheter in until the urine starts to come out. Keep going for a few more centimetres. When no more urine comes out, straighten yourself up to make sure there's nothing left in your bladder. Then very slowly pull the catheter out. Turn the catheter a little and stop each time more urine comes out. Then you can be sure that your bladder is completely empty. When you're finished, Throw the catheter and the packaging into your household rubbish bin. Do not flush it down the toilet. Wash your hands and it'll be time to play.